Hi there. This is Black Crow Walking, bringing you a course of a study of a course of love by Mari Perrin, and today we're up to a new chapter, chapter fifteen, called the Special Self. This will be interesting after the specialness that we've been looking at uh, in terms of um, glory and uh, all being equal. Fifteen, verse one. We have talked much now of your special love for others, but what of the specialness you desire for yourself? Do you not see how intricately linked these two desires are? The desire to give and receive specialness is the driving desire of your life, and the world you see but reflects this desire. <coughs> Love's opposite would not exist, but for your invitation of it. All hate, guilt, shame and envy are but the results of your creation of an opposite to love through specialness. All the maladies, that's an interesting word isn't it, maladies, all the maladies of the current time as well as those of history would give way to love without the interference of all that would make special. You think issues of survival rule the world, and so they do, but they would not if it were not for your special need to be special. Transportation would be transportation rather than a status symbol. Without a desire for specialness, the person would have no need for status at all. Beauty would be what it is and not that what products would make it. Without a desire for specialness, a person would have no need for products at all. Wealth would be the happy state of everyone. For without specialness to feed, there would neither there would be neither want nor hunger. Without a desire for specialness, a person would have no need for products at all. Wealth would be a happy state of everyone. For without specialness to feed, there would be neither want nor hunger. That's better. Without a desire for specialness, there would be no war. There would, for there would be no reason to break the peace. No land would be considered more sacred to some than others. Nor, no resources withheld and no people deemed subservient. What harm is there is specialness. Only all the harm you see within the world. Well, that makes sense. When we make something special and we seem to strive for our monetary value system being based on a special car, or a special house, a special friend. <laughs> and if there was no specialness, if it was just a house, and just a car, and just a friend, who would we be? There'd be no striving, striving, and striving to get this and get that and get this and get that and be this and look that and look look at look at me or look at look at the way this is. It makes me special and it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just something that made you work hard to get. Are you having fun? That's the main thing. Are you playing? Are you having adventures? Are you happy and peaceful and free? Those things are what are important and that's what you've come here to do. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> so let go of the specialness, my, my beloved friends. And come back to seeing everything as equal. Everything is beautiful. Even that old car, it's beautiful. 
even the bed you lay your head down at night, that it gives you comfort, that holds your shape, that's what you want to go home for. It's beautiful. Let yourself be in the beauty of what is, in the glory of what is, rather than looking for the special thing or the special one. I love you. Bye for now.